um, very productive, uh, was able to meet with the president, was able to see some family members I haven't seen in years, cousins and aunts. Um, it was almost restoring their faith because we've, we've, we haven't had any contacts with one another. They were rejoicing and, you know, thanking God. And so it was really pleasing. And I said, maybe I go home for a few days and, and just see how the country is and, and, and be there in the physical just, just to see because I haven't been back in it. And then when I got there, I was able to do way much more than I anticipated. Uh, there's roads. We got, you know, before it was all dusty type of roads. Now we have, you know, real roads that can get you to places where, where I live is about about three hours on a real good road, but it'll take you six hours before with the type of roads we used to have. You, you can, it's still standing, you know, with all the the war and everything that's happened, it's still there and, you know, you remember where where I used to take my bath on the side of the house and where I was at the time when the fighting st started and you saw, you know, it, it, it was just, it was reminiscent, it's, you know, it was, it felt good and as, especially having the people that's related to me there to also, you know, be able to remember what I remember. So it's it's not like I'm making it up. So they remember when I remember, they remember. So we were kind of like, you know, reminiscing the entire time. But it, it, it felt good, you know. They're living, I'm living, and it felt good. Yeah, I always remember I always wanted to join the fighting. You know, I, I, I wanted to do that because I was a child and everyone was doing it. And you know, my brother wouldn't let me. Um, he, did, he did it for a little bit, but he wouldn't let me. But... I may be dead. I mean, <laughs> and, I mean, I, I don't think I would be living. I, I don't really see how life would be if I would have stayed and fought because there's all the people I knew as friends, they're dead. And they didn't really know who I was there. And um, so we hit the radio station for about three hours, a couple of TV stations. But some people knew about me, but they didn't know you know, who, you know, it, so the love, at first it was cool, like, once people started to know, oh, this is, this guy plays in, in the U.S., he plays football, and they associate that with soccer, and then once they start to kind of come along a little bit, or they read and see some highlights, because they all have little phones, then they start realizing, I played a little basketball uh, with one of uh, the security guards that was carrying me around in his neighborhood, and you know, we had a huge surrounding. A lot of people came around. We went swimming on the beach. A lot of people was just following us uh, in his neighborhood. Well, I want to bring awareness to the country. Um, we, I have to sit down with uh, uh, my agents. Uh, I want to form a, I don't formally have a um, foundation. And everything I do as far as giving, I just, I just do. But with the country I'm from, there, there, there's needs, there's things that the country needs and I think people can help but if people don't know they, they just can't do it so I think uh, I could be a great ambassador for our country it's been going well um, I, I feel uh, I was able to do more today than I, I've done the entire time of rehabbing and <coughs> the time they gave me off I think helped um, because you know the knee is is unstable and with the scope is still sore and then it gave me about two weeks off I'm, I, I came back and I was able to run on it and um, so I, I think I'm progressing the way I, I, I would like. Is there still pain in it? Or? Yeah I mean there's always there's pain around my body so. <laughs>